as we'd hit it off. Now, Major Munro will want to talk to this fellow straight away. So, as he's given us his parole, I'll take him back to camp. You didn't tell him about the piece of paper, sir. Could be a code. Copy it down when you get back, Harris. Go through that so-called colonel's pockets. When you're finished, take the tunic he's wearing and the one under his head and bring them back to camp. Sir. You know, I think you have your eye on that sword. Done. Richard, Major Munro wants to see you at six. Can we have a word? Look, I have to go, lass. I promise I'll come back. Look, I swear I'll come back. to stay with us till we reach Villa Franca. Colonel's orders. She understands English. Seems like she's about to speak and she just... Mm. I've seen that before. She probably saw something dreadful and was too frightened to scream. She'll speak again as soon as she feels safe. Rifleman Harris said to give you this. And these. These are also for you. Oh, yeah. We found this on the French captain. Could it be a cord? Oh, it looks like a list of bills to me. And I suppose I ought to have a word with the frog about it. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'll see you there at six. And don't be late. Munro hates lateness. lesson in my life. Can you believe that, laddie? Sit down, laddie. Which would you prefer me to do, Sharp? Play be Alach na Brugga. That's the Monroe March. Or send you on a dangerous mission? A uh, dangerous mission, sir. Who's winning the war, Sharp? Wellington, sir. Why is he winning it, Sharp? Steady troops, sir. Superior intelligence, Sharp. Supplied by whom, laddie? Men like you, sir. Oh, don't lick me, laddie. Wellington is winning it with the help of a man called El Mirador. Not his real name, of course. El Mirador made this map. Tell me what you think of it. 
God. Every French fort. Full figures for infantry, cavalry, artillery. <laughs> I don't believe he's even counted the bloody bayonet, sir. Look long at it, laddie. You may not see its like again. Why not, sir? El Mirador is in mortal danger. Our agents in Paris tell us that Bonaparte personally picked out a man to capture El Mirador. A Colonel Philippe Leroux of the Imperial Guard. Paris says he set out six weeks ago across the frontier to rendezvous with the French fort at Villafranca. And Villafranca is where El Mirador conducts his operations. We killed a full colonel of the Imperial Guard this morning, sir. Aye. Jack told me. A Colonel Junot, according to the captain we captured. Maybe he was Larue, maybe not. I don't trust that Captain Jack. I mean, my lord. What about the numbers we found on him? Captain Delma says he buys horses. The numbers are prices. Who can say? But it could be a code. Absolutely. But if it is a code, it'll be a book code. Why not just move El Mirador to a safe place, sir? El Mirador is more than a spy, Sharp. He's a chief of spies. He has hundreds of couriers and confidential agents to consider. That's why he chose Villafranca for his headquarters. The constant coming and going conceals his couriers, so he has to stay there. Does El Mirador know the colonel is coming to kill him? Not kill, capture. Capture him for torture. Colonel the Rule will want everything in El Mirador's mind. But El Mirador is not the kind of man who will leave his post. Could I have your second suggestion? Yes, sir. Find the colonel and kill him. Oddly enough, but these are your orders. No nonsense about parole. Wellington wants him dead. Any more questions, ask them now. I'm off to Burgos in the morning. Just one, sir. Do the French know El Mirador's real identity, sir? They may do now. A week ago, a priest and a party of nuns went missing 50 miles south on the way to a remote mountain shrine. We found blood, but no bodies. Oh, yes. We found this. The priest was El Mirador's confessor. One last question, sir. Couldn't I protect El Mirador rather better if I knew his real identity, sir? El Mirador's identity is a state secret known only by Wellington and myself. Even Captain Spears doesn't know who he is. And what you don't know don't hurt you, Sharp. <laughs> Beg pardon, sir. But in my experience, what you don't know usually gets you killed. Suppose he captured you, tortured you. You suggest not talk, sir. Don't be a damn fool, Sharp. Everyone talks on the third day. Now, shall you stay for hasty to the wedding? Uh, no, sir. How do you stand it, quite major? I said, how do you stand it? <laughs> 